20 miles, two hours, 20 minutes, 726 per mile pace. Good start to the week, 81 miles to go. It's Monday afternoon, 2.30, just got done with an interview. To be honest, I really don't wanna go running right now, but I committed, I will be running the miles this week 100 miles this week i already told you it's happening it's just going to happen i just have to like i mean i slept for like five and a half hours last night nothing that you know five or six cups of coffee can't cure so yeah let's go ahead and do it just kind of okay let's go there's no fun way to start this so i'm gonna start it <laughs> This is gonna be really, 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 really slow. 10 miles, as I'm warming up, I'm gonna cry for a few minutes. So uh, if you'll excuse me, I'll see you guys in a little bit. So uh, this is the Riverside Path that goes all around Taipei for like a million miles. So see this wall here? That's if there's a monsoon. That's so when it floods, that's so the water doesn't get into the city. They have this surrounding the whole city. Feel, I feel actually surprisingly decent. We're running about an eight minute pace and it doesn't feel too miserable, which I am so excited about. I've got some NPR uh, to listen to. It's really important that I take today super easy because I have got some crazy muscle damage. And actually today, it's probably gonna be the worst run out of the whole week because I had the long one yesterday. 10 miles, done. One hour, 21 minutes. Um, doing okay. I'm gonna go feast though. Successful running day today. I uh, did my 10 miles, 70 miles left for the week. Feeling good about it so far. Uh, it's gonna be a long week, but I think I'll be able to manage. Man, I haven't done I haven't done this much running in a long time. It feels good being feeling like a runner again. It's almost like re-oiling like a moving part, like getting the rhythm again. I get weird cravings though. Like I crave like iron, obviously water, chocolate, lots of chocolate. Right now I have a huge craving for you guys know the secret 100 mile per week diet? Eat whatever the f Don't look at me like that. I'm averaging 14 miles of running a day. This is no joke. They say Into your earth. running twice a day is that the morning run needs to be done immediately upon waking up. Wake up, don't brush your teeth, don't wash your face, don't check your phone, don't eat breakfast, drink a bunch of water, just roll out of bed, throw on your stuff and get out the door. Your goal is to try to get out and get back and finish the run before your body even really realizes what's going on. So I'm doing four or five miles right now, really slow for a morning run. miles 35 minutes I had a weird headache since last night i don't know if it's like caffeine withdrawal or if i'm missing some kind of like vital nutrient i'll be back later tonight six hours later i had five ounces of pasta two chicken breasts five for a share one banana smoothie bananas cocoa one thing of m ms put some m ms in there just for some orange juice i'm feeling good so uh, i've got 10 more miles to do today and then i'll be done I feel like i'm gonna have a little pep in my step all right so let's go and welcome to Da'an Park. Now, the nice thing about Da'an Park is this lovely little surface here. Just a nice little squishy dirt. About two miles in, this is where I turn around. So I run like a horseshoe shape entrance and I kind of go around in the dirt and then I come up here and I go, because they didn't complete the, the dirt path or a full circle. Like, don't know why. Honestly, I was just thinking about, I was thinking about how nice it is to have this, have like this external motivator for doing this. I have no, right now, no desire to run 100 miles this week, but I put it out there in the world, I committed to it. And right now I'm running by myself, but it's almost as if there's somebody 
right here running along with me. So thank you. Thank you guys. Hold me, I'm only three minutes in. Man. Come on. <laughs> hey, I just, hey guys, I just ran to my friend Nickel here. Nickel, say hi everybody. Hello. Nickel's my, uh, one of my two runner friends in the city. <laughs> lives in Hong Kong and lives here. So I got somebody to run for the rest of the night. Sweet. Slow and steady. <laughs> Slow and steady wins the race. Oh uh, man, 14 miles done for the day. 56 miles left in the week. Feeling pretty decent. I'm gonna go get some food and then I'm gonna go to bed. I, I will see you guys tomorrow. guys how's it going four miles down for today ten more miles to go I'll be right at about 42 miles left to go in the week which means today Wednesday is officially the hump day just almost halfway over I feel pretty good whoa was that a transition Jake or did you lose some footage earlier oh. okay so right now it's 1 a.m. I'm on the Riverside path path river river i'm almost done with tonight's run mentally i feel great physically eh, not so much my legs are a little heavy i'm i think it's i think it's gonna kind of kind of keep on trucking so speaking of let's get back to it i just bought this today and it's already <sighs> i just got so hungry Let's talk about being flexible. Maybe not being flexible, but there's always more than one way to go about achieving a goal. And so with that, This morning, I didn't feel like going for a morning run, so I didn't. I was running for a few hours, had my coffee, had a milkshake, and uh, as a result, I feel pretty chipper right now. longer than 10 miles. The miles will be done today, just in a different order. That's all about being flexible. So six miles finished, just over halfway done. Um, I'm gonna do 12 miles today. Maybe I'll go for a small run later tonight or I'll just save it for tomorrow. Yeah. 11 miles, one hour, 26 minutes, about a 740 minute per mile pace. This running thing is kind of becoming a little bit of, a, of an ordeal. <laughs> Mentally, I'm I'm fine, uh, but physically things are getting a little a little weird. My legs have like this deep like soreness. Not like you know you do heavy squats or you work out for the first time in in a few months and like the next day like you can't walk. It's not like that. It's like a it's like a deep penetrating ache in my hips and it's just like all consuming. The physical is carrying over into the point where it's it's affecting me. Like I, I just fell asleep at my computer 
actively doing something. So in terms of like the technical stuff, like the maintenance, in case anyone's interested, that first night where I was eating all that crazy ice cream and stuff, that is not happening right now. I'm not kidding myself. My diet's mostly been rice, bread, and banana, because I need carbs. Yes, I'm eating chocolate just because I like eating chocolate, but out of the 4,000 calories I'm eating every day, about 70% of it's carbs. There's a little bit of protein in there, obviously, and a bit more fat, so that's nutrition. From a running standpoint, so I'm not getting injured, I've noticed that my, my turnover or the rates that my feet touch the ground is about 180 steps a minute. I'm not actively doing that. Like after a few days, my body's just kind of learned to, basically it's like the more your feet touch the ground, the, the less you bob up and down. The less you bob up and down, the better because then the more you're moving horizontally and not vertically. Um, I've been sleeping about nine hours a night. Last night I only slept for like seven hours because I went to bed at like 5.30 in the morning. Like I died. Ah. The pace I'm running is not quick. I'm just running at a pace that feels easy and comfortable. Also, I like physically can't run any faster because I just like, I just, I'm at like this point of, yeah. Running surface, I'm gonna stop running on asphalt as much as possible just because I, I'm starting to feel it in my knees a little bit. Unfortunately, I live in a big metropolitan city that just doesn't care about grass and stuff. So it's not easy to, so I did 11 miles today. I'm short three miles for the day, but I'll figure, I'll squeeze it in. But that means I have 31 miles left to run, which is good. The bad news is I have to run that in two days. Almost done. So it's a good talk. Today's Thursday, tomorrow's Friday, and then we have Saturday, and then we're done. So 31 miles left. <sighs> I'm gonna go eat some carbs. I'll see you guys later. tired of running. I really don't want to go running right now. It's just that now it's becoming, now it's becoming a question of like, how can I distract myself from this, this task, from this goal I've set out before me? Like, what can I listen to, to distract me? Where can I go that I haven't been to before to somehow ignore the fact that I'm running 15 miles a day. I've been listening to NPR lately, which is good. It's learning a lot. I've run everywhere in the city though, so that's not, it's about to rain. But it's okay. The feelings that I'm having today on my second to last day give me a good opportunity. A good opportunity to talk about if the goal that you're trying to achieve is meaningful, is impactful, that the path to achieve it will not be easy. If the goal is truly meaningful, truly impactful, it will be difficult. There will be periods, there will be times as you're achieving this goal where it will not be nice to do. You won't wanna wake up and go running. You will start thinking, I'll never be able to get into this college because it's so exclusive. Why would they accept me? Think that, oh, there's no way I could achieve this position. I could get into this position because there's somebody else more qualified than me. You'll start thinking negatively. Which is why it's so important that one, the goal that you chose is your goal. It's nobody else's goal it's genuine to yourself Two, you do things you make steps to ensure that, that you're held accountable for your goal because it will get tough if it's a meaningful goal it's gonna get tough it's not gonna be easy to achieve it and you need to make sure that you set yourself up to achieve it so maybe when you make your goal you tell someone that you're very close with that you can trust who you know will be supportive or maybe you take the goal and you write it on your wall on like the back of your front door so that every day before you leave the house you see that goal and you know you've committed to it maybe you make an internet video and you put it out there telling everybody you're gonna do the goal and if you don't do it, then you're totally foolish. Ah! Okay, five miles done, 41 minutes, a little slower than I would have wanted, not a big deal. I'm gonna have to do 11 miles tonight, probably be on my feet for over two hours a day, which is kind of a bummer, but that's just the way things go sometimes. Feeling okay, I just need some coffee. My legs are decent. Um, there's like zero power in my legs. Like, you know that people talk about like muscle elasticity and stuff, that ain't there anymore. But I am able to just kind of keep moving like slowly but surely. It's kind of like if your car's busted and you need to like push it to the gas station. So right now, like I'm in neutral, just like the car and I'm able to just kind of get it, get it moving a little bit and it, and it, it rolls 
just so not very fast and the, the effort to get it to roll is just way more than it should be but it's not like stopping like there's no flat tires it's just it's still kind of in all in all pretty good right eh, oh my okay all right so with that um i'll be back in a few hours and welcome to the riverside bath look at this guy he's just chilling you be safe out there oh slow and steady wins the race Done six miles in 45 minutes, which means I'm not exactly running slow. I feel surprisingly good tonight. Your guess is as good as mine. Maybe my body has adapted to the stress. <laughs> Who knows? The week is almost over. I'm kind of surprised I feel so good tonight. Probably running the quickest I have been all week right now. I feel like that was folly of me. I shouldn't, I shouldn't have expected something. I feel like when you go into a goal, when you go after a goal, and you expect a certain result, that that's folly. Because it never turns out the way you expected. One of my favorite quotes is, be ready for anything, expect nothing. Twelve miles done, one hour, 27 minutes, a 718 per mile pace. A little quicker than I anticipated, but that's okay. So that means I've done 85 miles this week. I have 15 miles left to run tomorrow. It's 1 a.m. and I'm a little tired, so I'm gonna go to sleep. Psych! Dude, it's Friday night at 1 a.m. Uh, I ran 17 miles a day. Man's gonna go live his life. See ya. miles down a 704 pace I just ran a half marathon in one hour 32 minutes two more miles to go 14 miles down one more mile to go we are going up Sunday, 20, Monday, 10, 4, 10, 4, 10, 10, 11, 5, 12, 13, and 2. That's 100. Hey guys, one week, 100 miles for you, my first 100 subscribers. I'm sorry it's dark out. I ran as fast as I could, but I could not beat the sunset. This week has been a journey. It's been a, it's been a fun pursuit and accomplishment of achieving a goal. I did this to kind of demonstrate how to make a big goal and then go about achieving it through the lens of holding yourself accountable. Remember, big goals, meaningful goals, impactful goals, they'll be difficult. And I think that the first step towards accomplishing any big goal you make, get that dream job, Job, get into that dream school, get an awesome body, get on the varsity team, whatever it might be. You have to first believe that you can do it. And I think the first step towards actually believing it, like a kinesthetic action you can do, is to put the goal out there. So that means tell people. That means write it on the back of your front door or on your wall or on your fridge or you put it on your desktop on your screensaver. You tell everybody you can. You could scream it from the top of a mountain. Huh? Huh? Mountain, huh? huh? Whatever it is, so that your goal is out there. It's it's a little more real. You know, it's out of your mind. It's into the cosmos. What this does is, is well, you've given this goal a little bit of conviction, right? You've kind of put a little bit of yourself into it. And so, inevitably, as you're pursuing this this deep, impactful, meaningful goal, you're going to go through some tough times. It's because it's out there, because people know about it, because you've convicted to it that it holds you accountable. So I wanted to actually show that. So I made this goal of doing 100 miles and my way of getting it out there was putting it on the internet and telling you guys about it. So I had to do it, right? But I also did this as a way to, to thank you guys, my subscribers, because on YouTube, my goal is to be more creative. I like creating things and having this platform 
holds me accountable. Every day I wake up and my first thought is, what can I create today? What can I make? And the reason is because I see that little subscriber count or the view count or there's comments or my friends send me messages. It's like a positive accountability. So YouTube in a way is my mountaintop that I can scream from. Huh? Mountain? Huh? Did it again? Huh? Yeah. Yeah. And I'm at a point in my life where it's so fulfilling to make and create something and hopefully impact and motivate and inspire other people. I'm trying to be less selfish and give and give more. And this is kind of a way I think that I can do that. Thank you guys from the bottom of my heart. Genuinely, I appreciate it. My first 100 subscribers. I hope you guys enjoyed this week. I hope you enjoyed this video. It was fun, sort of. I am so tired of running right now though. I'm just gonna like do nothing for a few days. Cheers, thank you guys. Here's to many, many, many more hundreds of thousands of subscribers in the future. Okay, see ya.